guys welcome back to choose your own path today we are looking at a piece of diamond willow so um, someone asked me to make them a diamond piece or a walking stick for diamond willow what they just wanted is they want it peeled and then sanded down really nice so the thing about diamond willow is as much as the outside layer is dry the inside holds a lot of moisture um, diamond willow is usually found around like a swampy area so meaning that it has it takes a lot of a lot of water in so when you actually peel a piece of diamond willow as I'm doing now uh, you can see that it it seems dry and if you go deep enough to where the colors turn from a, a dark kind of brownish to the light brown this is still a wet area where this is drier um, under it but it still needs time to cure so what I do is I peel it all the way all the way through and then in the diamonds itself when you want those diamonds out the best thing to do is to take a rotary tool and to dig them out they're hard to cut out with a knife not impossible just hard the nice thing about this kind of a bark is when it peels it peels nice and long so if you get a nice strand you can go all the way through and then what I'll do is after I've peeled this I'll let it sit outside in the Sun for just a day not even a couple hours in fact if you really wanted to and then I could take the rotary tool to it um, but like I said you want to get that some people like the really nice darker brown the problem with that is this is still part of the bark so it still has the hairs attached to it once you get to that light brown is where the wood becomes smooth and easier to work with um, the diamonds when stained you've seen them before um, they become really nice so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna peel this stick right back and then uh, when I come back I'll show you the sanding part and the taking out of the diamonds all right so we'll all right, guys, we're back so it's roughly about five in the morning. Can't sleep. What are you gonna do? Anyway, so we peeled the stick yesterday and we let it dry. I got a fan going on here in the shop. It's gonna be hot, so it's good to be up early. Um, took some 80 grit sandpaper. Used a what is this? An orbital sander. Let it do its job, spun it around, got rid of a lot of the, the stuff that was wet, dry kind of thing. So today we're gonna work on uh, the diamonds. All right, so we start off with whatever we see first. So we'll bring you down and show you what we're doing. All right. So, we're gonna use our cuts all bit. This is the small flame burr uh, extreme. What we want to do is we want to get in, get the darkness out, and we also want to follow around it so we make it stick out. When we're done, we're gonna use our other cuts all. This is a sanding bit. Uh, it's still pretty coarse, but it'll work. It needs to be clean, but we'll do that after. So let's get at it.
bring the diamond out on each one of them. That's the goal of it. So then we'll sand all this down and make it look good. So we'll keep on doing this and we'll all get right. to there. So let's get rid of the big chunky fuzzy ones here. So we're gonna use this guy. This is the big, um, it's a sanding bit. Um, you can find these in the cuts all sections. Uh, the link will be below. Most of the fuzzies out and you can see that we or I went around and kind of pronounced more of the diamond. <clears throat> Sorry, so the next step is to basically well clean myself up <coughs> and get the dust out don't forget guys wear your dust mask I don't I'm stupid but I got the fan blown out I got my doors open my dust collector is just picking up all the crap um, still not an excuse not to wear it. I wear my schmock. I didn't wear my gloves today because, uh, you know what? I'm doing long sanding where I'm not getting in there detailed where I can cut myself up like I did last time. So the next step will just to be sanded down smooth. And we're going to go through like, uh, harsh, you know, like 80 grit all the way down to like probably 250 at the most. The guy who's purchasing the stick. Um, it's a nice size, good little hand. Uh, he will decide what he wants to do with it afterwards. He's going to be basically staining it. I don't know if he's going to carve. I don't know if he wanted to carve something. He might put something small on the top, like a little bird or something like that. He loves to do finches. It's the guy who does the finches. He wants this. is the second time he wants one of these. So maybe he'll put a little finch on there. Whatever. It's up to him. I don't care as long as he's happy. I'm happy. Let's do it. So let's clean up and then keep on going, I guess. All right, there's our special guest today. Hi, Miss Miss. Hi. Yeah? Yeah, she's in the shop with us today. Well, either way. So we are ready for him to pick up his stick. So, I mean, those are beautiful diamonds that just came out. This is sanded down to 220 grit. That's the highest I got or the lowest I got. Now, just take a look at this diamond here. And when it's stained, this is what you get. And if you use a darker stain, again, this is just, you know, a spit on there. But that is going to turn out just beautiful. You know, nice big chunks like that of diamond. Let's see if I can get this down here somewhere to show you. Um, when this is stained, these inner pieces, they turn out, they get darker compared to say this piece here. Let's see if I can get a better piece. There you go. So you can see the inner, the inner stain that'll touch into that and all the way through. And then he's gonna put a cap on here anyway. He'll bring that down. So, uh, talk about diamond willow diamond willow is um it is a hardwood but minus the fact that it sits in the swamps or in a marshy area you get a lot of let's see if this will focus i mean you'll get a lot of these little grainy pieces that are basically it's part of the soft tissue of the wood now i mean we're talking i've been up since four o'clock this morning sanding this guy down and I would literally have to dig all this out even more to get it right comfortably to a point where you'll never see it. But here's the thing. Diamond Willow takes water and or it takes stain very well. Where if you stain this, or you will stain it, that will all just blend in and it'll look beautiful. It's not a fact that, you know, I could keep on saying this for another four or five hours and you can't get out some of the imperfections like um, where my thumb is. You can see it's kind of off. 
these again are soft spots that are going here what has to be done is they have to be sanded and i will i'll just touch these pieces up here they have to be sanded. now diamond willow when it when it when it's bare like this the slightest touch not the slightest but any kind of nick to it ends up showing because it's a hardwood but it still absorbs so much water and so that it becomes almost like a soft wood itself and if that makes sense i don't know if that makes sense to you guys but it's how i can explain it that if it if you don't protect this right away seal it um again you know myself i'll put coats of uh, epoxy on it so it doesn't bust or stuff like that it's just easier but you can see some of the spots here that need more attention now every angle shows a different kind of a thing so you won't see that at one angle but you'll see it at this angle so a little bit of sanding and we'll get that fixed so guys happy canada day uh that's what we are in canada hope you guys enjoy this uh again like subscribe share it if you can if you want tell me if you like the content if you don't like the content thumbs up thumbs down i don't care it all is good uh tip jar at the bottom for anybody who wants to help out to you know it just helps out with all the tooling and all the material that we buy for all the projects um i want to thank everybody who does and um if i could do it you could do it so choose your own path guys bye miss what do you say bye bye